All right, you have decided you are gonna build a website. Awesome, but now you're gonna try and figure out should you use WordPress or should you use ShowIt? So let's do a comparison. Now it is no surprise that I'm a big fan of WordPress. So let's start with ShowIt so we can check out all their features before we then jump over and compare it to WordPress. ShowIt is a specialized system and it focuses primarily on photographers and also on portfolio websites. It is 100% drag and drop and it gives you a really nice blank canvas to work on. Actually, it reminds me a lot of Adobe's Lightroom and Photoshop. Now, interestingly, if you build a ShowIt website but you want a blog to go along with it, it actually uses WordPress. WordPress for the win, WordPress blog. Now, when it comes to SEO, which we all know is very, very important, you can configure your Show It site for SEO. Now, because Show It uses WordPress for the blog, you can actually use WordPress plugins that are SEO focused with the WordPress blog within your Show It site. Show It does have free and paid template options, which is awesome. Now, compared to WordPress, it is easier to create a custom design. So, if that's what you're looking for, Show It might be a good option. Now, when it comes to mobile optimization, i.e., does your website look good on a phone, show it doesn't convert the desktop straight to a mobile. So you'll want to create that separately to make sure it looks really good on a phone. Now, there aren't a lot of extensions that come along with show it. So for example, if you want an e-commerce shop, if you want to sell stuff on your website, then you would need another platform like Shopify in order to have that functionality. Next, let's talk about WordPress. Yay, WordPress. So WordPress is the most popular content management system out there and it powers over 40% of all websites on the internet. WordPress allows you to build any kind of website. There are no limitations when it comes to WordPress. It could be a small one page brochure website or it could be a huge, massive e-commerce website. One thing I love about WordPress is the scalability. So it will grow as your business will grow. Now, don't get me wrong, WordPress is not the most user-friendly. I get that. However, it's got a huge community of amazing people that are always willing to help. And there are tons and tons of free resources and tutorials out there. Just look on YouTube, search for WordPress, and tons of stuff comes up. I've even got a lot on my channel. With WordPress, you've got thousands of plugins and themes and integrations. The possibilities are literally endless. You also definitely do not need to know how to code in order to build a website with WordPress. However, obviously I'm a big fan of learning how to code. It does open up a lot more possibilities if you do know how. Now WordPress does require maintenance. It is free and open source after all. So anytime there's an update, you do need to go in and make those updates and make sure that everything is ready to go. So you're not going to get any malware or anything bad like that. However, that does give you an opportunity to to offer that as a service if you are building websites for other people. Win-win. Okay, next let's do a pricing comparison because I'm sure that is something that you will be considering when you try to decide if you want to use WordPress or show it. Okay, let's start with show it on their pricing. As of this recording, show it plans start at $19 a month and they can go up to $34 a month and even more depending on how much traffic you get to your website. As for the paid premium website templates, those range anywhere from $200 to $750. Okay, now let's talk about WordPress. So WordPress, the actual platform of building websites is free. However, if you want your website to be on the internet, you need two things. You need hosting, which could be anywhere from kind of five to about $15 a month, depending on what company you go with and the quality of that hosting. I highly recommend you go with good hosting, which would be anywhere from kind of 10 to 15 bucks a month. The next thing you need is a domain name and that will run you about 10 to $20 a year. And then if you want a premium WordPress theme, that will range you anywhere from 30 bucks to uh, about $200. So WordPress sites vary a lot in price because it really depends on what you need. If it's a super simple website, then you can probably get away with it not being too expensive every month, every year. Now, that being said, if you have a big e-commerce site and you have a lot of traffic and you need extra functionality and you've got paid plugins and paid themes and all this extra stuff, then WordPress will probably be a little bit more expensive. However, if you go with show it and you have a very basic, simple site, you're probably going to be paying more than you would over on WordPress. So which one's the best? Well, depends. <laughs> it depends on 
what you need really. So if design is really, really important to you and your business, then maybe show it is the right way to go. Now, that doesn't mean you can't have an amazing design on WordPress, you absolutely can, but that is what show it was designed for with photographers in mind. So visuals for them is really important. If you don't want to handle the tech part of running a website, then you probably wanna go down the show it route because they take care of all of that for you. Now on the flip side, if you want full control of your website, if you want all the optimization options, if you want scalability and all the extra functionality and e-commerce and everything else, then WordPress is definitely the way that you wanna go. Now it's no secret that I am a big fan of WordPress because you can literally do just about anything with it. Now that being said, if you have done your research on what is the best website builder, then you probably came across Squarespace. If you want to know what is the difference between Squarespace and WordPress, check out this video.